Episode 56, KK, October 26, 2023. MIT Goodman Project, Fatal Wood Stove, Caused House Fires, British Columbia Letters to the Editor, Nairobi Clean Cook Stoves, House Speaker Pro Fossil Fuels. United States, Biomass Removals with Carbon Capture? Raz up view, better not to burn wood in the first place, since carbon capture historically doesn't wood and wastes vast amount of taxpayer money, trying to get it right and failing over and over. Wood burning and carbon capture, Raz up view, don't burn wood in the first place, because carbon capture has proven over decades of attempts that it doesn't work and carbon capture subsidies are an expensive waste of taxpayer dollars. Burning questions surround biomass-based removals Reuters. Excerpts edited by Razep for brevity and clarity and relationship to residents against Wood Smoke Emission Particulates Corporation, a 501c3 nonprofit organization. Burning questions surround biomass based carbon removals. October 23, 2023. Industry insight from Ethical Corporation magazine, a part of Thomson Reuters. Drax Power Plant in Selby, North Yorkshire, has been putting on trial biomass carbon capture technologies since 2018. Reuters summary backs, claim to deliver carbon-negative emissions, involves capturing and storing CO2 from a biomass fuel stack experts say biomass can be obtained from better forest management or wood and agricultural waste critics concerned BCCS could drive timber sector and over the energy required to capture gases BCCS unit commissioned by UK's Drax plant aiming to deliver 4M tons of carbon removals by 2030 California-based companies, clean energy systems and moat planned to capture. Hydrogen from process October 23 as part of developing a biomass strategy, the UK government asked a group of experts to look at whether using forest biomass for bioenergy with carbon capture and storage, BECCS, could deliver net permanent removal of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. They suggested it could, but only with tight regulation and robust monitoring of supply chains and forest stocks. The whole logic of BECCS rests on the idea that the carbon dioxide released by combustion has earlier been sequestered from the atmosphere as trees grow. Moreover residues, such as tops and thinning, might have been left on the forest floor where they would have decomposed or burnt, releasing carbon. Capturing CO2 from the fuel stack of a biomass plant and storing it then delivers carbon-negative emissions, or net carbon removal. UK power plant Drax has been putting on trial zero biomass carbon capture technologies since 2018. It mainly relies on biomass sourced from managed forests in North America, where it owns 18 pellet mills. Last year it faced allegations, which it denies, that it sourced biomass from environmentally important forests in Canada. The expert's report says there is evidence that improved forest management can lead to both an increase in standing forest stock and also forest biomass productivity. However, the challenge is to ensure that this continues to be the case going forward, if consumption of forest biomass is further increased owing to use of wood in construction, increased demand for bioenergy, and GGR, greenhouse gas removals. This article is from the Ethical Corporation magazine's in-depth briefing on carbon removals. Click here to download the digital PDF. It has already signed memorandums of understanding for carbon removals, some at $300 a ton. Illinois, Springfield, wood stove suspected of fire that kills one man. Man found dead after morning fire in Clark County, Springfield New Sun excerpts edited by Roz Epp for brevity and clarity and relationship to residents against Wood Smoke Emission Particulates Corporation, a 501c3 nonprofit organization. No firefighters were injured. Snyder said the trailer had a wood-burning stove in use. Investigators do not know if the stove was connected to the man found dead after morning fire in Clark County. October 24, 2023. One person was found dead after a morning fire at a trailer house on Main Street in Donaldsville in western Clark County on Tuesday, according to fire officials. Bethel Township Fire Chief James Snyder said crews were called at 5.19 a.m. firefighter from Mad River TWP, and New Carlisle also assisted at the scene. Springfield TWP and Pike TWP tankers provided additional water supply to the area, which lacks hydrants. One side of the trailer was fully engulfed in flames when crews arrived. Firefighters attacked and attempted a preliminary search. Neighbors then informed them the trailer owner's van was in the driveway. We kept searching and we found the victim, Snyder said. The victim was a 70-year-old man who lived at the residence, the chief said. The cause and damage estimate remain under investigation, and the state fire marshal's office will investigate. The trailer is a complete loss. An investigator from the Clark County Coroner's Office arrived at the scene about 8.20 a.m. No firefighters were injured. 
Snyder said the trailer had a wood-burning stove in use. Investigators do not know if the stove was connected to the fire's origin, but he did ask residents with wood-burning stoves to make sure they are cleaned out and properly maintained each year. Louisiana, Covington, house fire that claimed life caused by wood-burning stove. 62-year-old man dies in Covington house fire news NOLA.com excerpts edited by Razep for brevity and clarity and relationship to residents against wood smoke emission particulates corporation, a 501c3 nonprofit organization. Wood burning stoves and ensuring proper ventilation. Not leaving candles, open flames, or space heaters unattended. Also, heating systems and Louisiana, Covington, house fire that claimed life caused by wood burning stove. Heating-related cause suspected in deadly Covington fire, latest stories and 17.com not overfilling fireplaces slash wood-burning stoves and ensuring proper ventilation, not leaving candles slash open flames, or space heaters, unattended. In Louisiana, New Orleans, PM 2.5 and swamp and marsh fire swamp and marsh fire smoke can be especially bad for breathing. What you need to know. NOLA.com peat fires are increasing the levels of PM 2.5, a dangerous air pollutant. Maine, Piscataquis new open burning law requires permits for larger campfires, Piscataquis observer excerpts edited by Razep for brevity and clarity and relationship to residents against wood smoke emission particulates corporation, a 501c3 nonprofit organization. Notably, permits for burning brush and wood debris remain unaffected and are still required under the existing regulations. The new law also makes Maine residents and visitors planning fires larger than the specified dimensions, often referred to as bonfires, will be required to obtain burn permits. These permits are available free of charge and can be secured online after 9 a.m. at mainburnpermit.com. Massachusetts, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, PM 2.5 and the Goodman Project. Razep View, the Goodman Project requires a membership level of at least $12. Improving U.S. Air Quality, Equitably, The Good Men Project excerpts edited by Razep for brevity and clarity and relationship to residents against Wood Smoke Emission Particulates Corporation, a 501c3 nonprofit organization. Cutting CO2 emissions reduces atmospheric concentrations of air pollutants that lead to the formation of fine particulate matter, PM 2.5, which causes improving U.S. air quality, equitably. Study finds climate policy alone cannot meaningfully reduce Racial-slash-economic disparities in air pollution exposure. October 22, 2023, by MIT News, leave a comment decarbonization of national economies will be key to achieving global net zero emissions by 2050, a major stepping stone to the Paris Agreement's long-term goal of keeping global warming well below 2 degrees Celsius, and ideally 1.5 C, and thereby averting the worst consequences of climate change. Toward that end, the United States has pledged to reduce its greenhouse gas emissions by 50 to 52 percent from 2005 levels by 2030, backed by its implementation of the 2022 Inflation Reduction Act. This strategy is consistent with a 50 percent reduction in carbon dioxide, CO2, by the end of the decade. The researchers suggest that more ambitious carbon policies could narrow racial and economic PM2.5 exposure disparities in the long term, but not within the next decade. To make a near-term difference, they recommend interventions designed to reduce PM2.5 emissions resulting from non-CO2 sources, ideally at the economic sector or community level. Achieving improved PM2.5 exposure for populations that are disproportionately exposed across the United States will require thinking that goes beyond current CO2 policy strategies, most likely involving large-scale structural changes. This could involve changes in local and regional housing planning. Canada, British Columbia, Logan Lake. Letter to the editor, don't burn wood debris. Why burn wood debris? Letters, castanet.net re BC wildfire service burning 450 piles of wood debris north of Apex Mountain Resort next week, castanet, October 20th, what a waste, so, much more smoke and unnecessary pollution. Did we not have enough of it this past summer, instead of recreation in our beautiful nature? Shouldn't that material be used differently? Letters, why burn wood debris? Contributed October 23, 2023, slash 10.03 a.m., story, 453385 Re BC Wildfire Service burning 450 piles of wood debris north of Apex Mountain Resort next week, Castanet, October 20th, excerpts edited by Razep for brevity and clarity and relationship to residents against Wood Smoke Emission Particulates Corporation, a 501c3 nonprofit organization. What a waste, so, much more smoke and unnecessary pollution. 
Did we not have enough of it this past summer, instead of recreation in our beautiful nature? Shouldn't that material be used differently? It was not long ago that I read an article full of praise for how things will be changed from such wasteful pile burning to taking those piles to a factory for the production of energy. It seems that was only bragging. I wonder why such an aggressive, egoistic, and obsolete approach is still allowed. Is there no concern of any kind? Letter from Logan Lake, Location, British Columbia, Canada. Canada, British Columbia, Pender Harbor, Letter to the Editor, Would Burning Harm vs. Forest Carbon Sinks Letters, Burn Notice and Climate Action, Coast Reporter, This is How Forests Act as Carbon Sinks. On the other hand, burning this wood releases that 1.6 kilograms, 3.5 pounds, of CO2 into the atmosphere. Further, Open Letters, Burn Notice and Climate Action Coast Reporter, October 22, 2023. Listen to this article 2 minutes and 19 seconds, Fire, Other Ravages Jeopardize California's Prized Forests. Alberta partnering with AI Company to try to predict wildfires before they ignite excerpts edited by Rosep for brevity and clarity and relationship to residents against Wood Smoke Emission Particulates Corporation, a 501c3 nonprofit organization. Editor, in September, West Kelowna Fire Chief Jason Broland stood up at the United Nations in New York to speak about his experience fighting massive wildfires where he described the toughest three days of his career and urged leaders to think about how to act to prevent worsening climate disasters. Last week, I received a public notice from my local volunteer fire chief that the provincial category 1 campfire and two-thirds open fire bans had been lifted. It read like an invitation to a party. The following are now permitted, open burning, burning barrels, campfires, tiki torches, fireworks, and exploding rifle targets. I admit that a lot of these sound like a lot of fun, but if we are going to reduce our carbon emissions, isn't it wise to save our CO2 budget for the really fun stuff and cut back on the activities that produce the most pollution, i.e. open burning and burning barrels? We could also reduce the number of false calls, our volunteer firefighters answer. Most yard waste is better off composted, mulched, or recycled. One kilogram, 2.2 pounds, of yard waste wood holds about 1.6 kilograms, 3.5 pounds, of CO2, depending on species, age, etc. This is how forests act as carbon sinks. On the other hand, burning this wood releases that 1.6 kilograms, 3.5 pounds, of CO2 into the atmosphere. Further, open burns of wood, leaves, and grass resemble wildfire smoke, which is increasingly linked to health problems. Even the methane emissions from simply letting your brush compost are much less than burning it in one roaring blaze. A few alternatives to burning yard waste, chip and mulch wood around trees to help retain moisture compost leaf litter for the garden, recycle paper and cardboard and create a brush pile habitat for beneficial insects. I call on my fellow Sunshine Coast residents to join Brolin's leadership and spread the message of the alternatives to burning throughout the community, by word of mouth wherever and whenever you can. Kalpalan, Shishal, Pender. Harbor, BC. Canada, British Columbia, Penticton, Apex Mountain Resort, PM 2.5 and Pile. Wood, burning pile burning taking place north of Apex Mountain Resort, Penticton Western News 450 piles of wood debris expected to be burned to reduce risk of future wildfires. Expect to see smoke rising from near Apex Mountain Resort, globalnews.ca The BC Wildfire Service said its members are planning to burn about 450 piles of wood debris north of Apex Mountain Resort, Canada, British Columbia, Vancouver, PM 2.5 and wildfire smoke lingers wildfire smoke lingers on surfaces. Study City News Vancouver researchers in Colorado have found wildfire smokesticks to indoor to determine this. Farmer says researchers used a cocktail smoker and pine wood how long does. Wildfire smoke stay in your home. New study reveals the answer inverse in CASA. We studied what happens when pollutants and chemicals get inside our homes, pesticides, smog, and even wood smoke. Using a cocktail smoker. Canada, British Columbia, Vancouver Island, Cowichan Valley, PM 2.5 and wood burning, letter to the editor, wood stove smoke is choking the air. Letter, wood stove smoke choking the air, Cowichan Valley citizen excerpts edited by Rosep for brevity and clarity and relationship to residents against wood smoke emission particulates corporation, a 501c3 nonprofit organization. In the past, we have partially heated with a wood stove and still do to a lesser extent and I have always been cognizant of how much smoke pollution. United Kingdom, England, Yorkshire households face 300-pound fine over log burner mistake after law change Yorkshire live wood and manufactured solid fuels, which produce less smoke. 
Burning dry wood also produces more heat and less soot than wet wood and can reduce Britons warned they could get £300 fine if they use a log burner. Personal Finance Daily Express Government Regulation State, burning at home, particularly with traditional house coal or wet wood, is a major source of the pollutant PM2.5, which United Kingdom, Scotland, PM2.5 Assessment Review and assessment of the evidence on health impacts of low-level pollution in the Scottish Government PM2.5, particulate matter, particles are less than 2.5 micrometers in diameter. Cayley, Quality Adjusted Life Year RQ, Research Question SDI. Ukraine, firewood resorted to during wartime, PM2.5 pollution from wood burning. Ukrainians prepare firewood and candles to brace for a winter of Russian strikes on the energy grid. AP News, Yuri I. Musienko, 45, another resident of Moshchun, also plans to rely heavily on firewood and has a wood burning stove in his compact wooden Ukraine, firewood resorted to during wartime, PM2.5 pollution from wood burning. Ukrainians prepare firewood and candles to brace for a winter of Russian strikes on the energy grid The Washington Post fired by Russians at power plants Yuri I. Musienko, 45, another resident of Moshchun, also plans to rely heavily on firewood and has a wood-burning. Israel, Gaza Gaza bakers turn to wood-burning ovens amid electricity outage YouTube Gaza bakers turn to wood-burning ovens amid electricity outage Bakers in Rafa, Gaza, return to using wood-burning ovens on October 19 due to an Syria, Latakia Latakia residents depend on firewood despite risks to health, life in Abbaladi wood burning stove. A pulmonologist, who preferred to remain anonymous, told in Abbaladi that exposure to a wood burning stove is quite similar to smoking, as inhaling in Latakia, as in all of Syria, firewood is an alternative option for heating, but it is expensive, carries health risks, and causes fires and property damage. Africa, Kenya, Nairobi, Kiamba cooking with electricity is cleanest. Sustainable kitchens pay for themselves by saving forests. Health ELPAS English ELPAS English He has also cut down the average cooking time for each meal, he explains, as the classic systems of cooking, on a wood burning stove or on stones, excerpts edited by Razep for brevity and clarity and relationship to residents against wood smoke emission particulates corporation, a 501c3 nonprofit organization. Bernard O. proudly shows off his three electric pots. Before, Everything would fill up with smoke, he remembers, as he stirs the dishes in his takeout restaurant in Kiambu, a town located about nine miles from Nairobi, the Kenyan capital. For about 120 Kenyan shillings, just under 80 cents, you can buy a container of beans, cabbage and chapati. And you can get it without any pollution. Fresh air is best, oh smiles. Oh, 50, was laid off from his job as a chef in a hotel during the pandemic. He subsequently decided to make a living by opening his business, where he employs three people and prepares nearly a hundred meals every day. Last year, he purchased the first electric cooker from Burn, a company that produces cleaner, more efficient cooking systems. Before, I paid about 1,300 shillings, almost $8, in gas, to cook for a whole day. Now, I pay about 500 in total, about $4, to use the pots and the refrigerator, he notes. He has also cut down the average cooking time for each meal, he explains, as the classic systems of cooking, on a wood-burning stove or on stones, were very inefficient. Oh, is so enthusiastic that he has already bought two electric cookers from Burn, each for about 12,000 shillings, about $80. He's able to pay in small installments of just over $3 each week. The pots actually cost much more, explains Chris M., the company's commercial director. However, he and other companies are managing to lower prices by using a new tool, carbon bonds or credits. Thanks to carbon credits, M maintains efficient cooking pots such as the ones sold by Burn can drastically go down in price. These savings go a long way in a country like Kenya, where the minimum wage is 15,120 shillings, about $100, each month. And the most interesting thing about the system is that, as these stoves are more widely used, more carbon credits are generated. Some companies are even considering starting to pay individuals to use green kitchens. Bernardo cooks with crockpots in his restaurant near Nairobi, Kenya, on September 8, 2023. Raquel Seco cooking is a very serious health problem in Kenya, as with much of the rest of the globe. Some 2.4 billion people in the world cook using inefficient systems, according to 2022 data from the World Health Organization. These include cooking with fires that are fueled by charcoal, wood, or kerosene. This is a Huge environmental problem, as it generates about 2% of the globe's annual emissions, more than the entire airline industry. 
These forms of cooking also contaminate the air, causing diseases that kill at least 4 million people each year, according to data from the Clean Cooking Alliance. Children are especially vulnerable, emphasizes Amy W., a climate specialist from UNICEF, during a phone interview with ELPAS. She cites a UN report, listing facts about what such pollution does to vulnerable children, they breathe twice as fast as adults, they have weaker immune systems, issues with brain development, smoke at home affects the heart and lungs, but children also suffer cognitive damage, she points out. Traditional cooking also poses more problems, such as domestic accidents, pots on the makeshift stove often aren't very stable, or, in unsafe rural areas, women have to go out daily to collect firewood, exposing themselves to danger. In addition, this type of cooking consumes a lot of time. Women and children in countries across the global south spend an average of 20 hours a week collecting material for fires, according to the UN. Several African countries have an especially big challenge to contend with when it comes to cooking. The problem is getting worse here, instead of improving, because the population is growing faster than advances in clean cooking, explains Caroline Aching, an expert at Sustainable Energy for All, a partner organization of the United Nations and several European governments. The biggest challenge is financing, because you cannot depend exclusively on the private sector, Aching warns. The Kenyan government has just announced a team specifically dedicated to clean cooking. President William Ruto's administration has set the goal of reaching 100% clean cooking in the country by 2028, betting, above all, on liquefied petroleum gas, LPG. But LPG often comes at a price that's unaffordable for lower-income consumers. John Leary, a researcher at Modern Energy Cooking Services, MECS, A. Kitchen Transformation Program funded by the UK government explains that, unlike LPG, coal or kerosene can be purchased on a daily basis in very small quantities. There's another system that's increasingly spreading in different African countries, known as pay-as-you-cook. This implies buying only the amount of gas that you need and can afford for the day. The system is also applied to electric cooking. While it's only used by a very small minority, it represents great savings for the domestic economy. Electricity is usually perceived as much more expensive than other sources of energy, but that's because cheap and very inefficient appliances are often used, Leary clarifies. You also run into the problem that electric pressure cookers or induction cookers have a much higher cost of purchase, despite being much cheaper in the long run. Paying in small weekly or monthly installments can help overcome these fears. Bernard O. Kiambu's cook is already planning to buy another pot as soon as he finishes paying off what he owes. Sign up for our weekly newsletter to get more English-language news coverage from E.L. Pace, USA Edition. New York Times Climate Newsletter, October 26, 2023. Excerpts edited by Razep for Brevity and Clarity and Relationship to Residents Against Wood Smoke Emission Particulates Corporation, a 501c3 nonprofit organization. Representative Mike Johnson of Louisiana, the newly elected House Speaker, has questioned climate science and opposed clean energy, and he received more campaign contributions from oil and gas companies than from any other industry last year. Heather Reams, President of Citizens for Responsible Energy Solutions, a group that works with Republicans on clean energy, said she expected that Johnson would try to repeal the Inflation Reduction Act, the trillion-dollar law that seeks to curb the country's carbon emissions. But, she said, the more embedded these tax incentives become, particularly in the red districts, I think it will be hard to repeal. Other climate news. The Biden administration's proposal to block oil and gas drilling on 1.6 million acres in Wyoming has caused a fierce backlash. The administration is also looking for ways to boost oil production if the Israel-Hamas war causes gasoline prices to spike. Gavin Newsom, the California governor, met yesterday with China's leader, Xi Jinping, to negotiate climate partnerships. The New York Times magazine Climate Issue takes an in-depth look at the fires in Canada, which burned an area bigger than half the world's countries put together. The magazine also covered the scientists who are watching their life's work disappear because of climate change, an effort to move redwoods out of harm's way, and how climate anxiety is changing psychotherapy. General Motors abandoned its goal of building 400,000 electric vehicles by mid-2024, the Wall Street Journal reported. The U.S. government has been quietly funding the capture of carbon dioxide that is ultimately used to drill more oil, the Washington Post reported. Alaska State of Alaska, Fairbanks North Star Borough received $10 million EPA grant to improve air quality, Environmental Protection Agency would smoke pollution and improve air quality in the borough. Wood smoke remains the largest source of fine particle pollution in the Fairbanks. Colorado, wildfire smoke and cleanup. 
How do you clear Colorado wildfire smoke from a house? Start scrubbing. The Colorado Sun Smoke Study found a common cocktail smoker closely emulated wildfire smoke when the right kind of wood chips were used. John Isley, CSU. Minnesota, Wadena and Veterans, PM 2.5 and Occupational Hazards, Toxic Exposure Clearinghouse. Veterans Notes, Toxic Exposure Research Clearinghouse, Wadena Pioneer Journal. Particulate Matter, PM 2.5. Occupational Hazards New York Canadian Wildfire, Smoke Linked to ED Visits in New York, Medscape In addition to wood burning, some wildfires burning homes, cars, and facilities can generate a lot of toxic pollutants such as carcinogenic organic. Pennsylvania, Donora, legacy of 1950s killer air pollution, is actually fallout of willful ignorance during 2023 Canadian wildfire incursions into the United States. Willful ignorance remains the Donora smog's lasting fallout any ex-Pittsburgh wood smoke produced by recent wildfires brought Donora smog-esque conditions across the nation. Over the summer, Canadian wildfire smoke painted new. India what Delhi is doing to fight pollution, more metro trips, dust suppressant the Indian Express data from Safar shows that last year, the daily peak contribution of stubble burning to PM 2.5 levels in Delhi was 34% on November 3rd. Government marks eight new pollution hotspots in Delhi. Hindustan Times HT reported on Sunday that several other locations, such as Nehru Nagar, Lodi Road, Puppurganj, and Alipur, have recorded PM 2.5 levels that were air pollution. Delhi air turns very poor, but worst is yet to come. BBC News The polluted air causes severe health issues to Delhi residents every year. On Monday, the level of PM 2.5 fine particulate matter that can clog India, Delhi, waste burning may contribute 2% to Delhi's air pollution in the next four days. Waste burning may contribute 2% to capital's air in next four days, Delhi News, Times of India burn materials to keep warm. Studies have shown that biomass burning, including the burning of wood, dung, and agricultural residue, significantly impacts air quality in Delhi, India. Delhi, PM 2.5 and potters of Cumhergram what use are token policies for the potters of Delhi's Cumhergram? The wire, since they employ clay ovens or kills that are fueled by burning wood husk and cow dung, the potters assert that their production method may be India, Delhi, PM 2.5 and policy policy, mitigation must be long-term focus, experts weigh in on Delhi's pollution fight the Indian Express Delhi still needs to reduce levels by between 55% to 59% to meet national standards for PM 2.5. Scale and speed of action will have to be hugely India, PM 2.5 Silent Killer. Air turned silent killer, toxic air, can now increase risk of breast cancer, India TV News India, PM 2.5 and breast cancer. Air pollutants, mainly particulate matter, PM 2.5 and PM 10 that are associated with premature heart attacks and deaths are now suspected of toxic air, can increase breast cancer risk, health news. Times now air pollutants, specifically particulate matter PM 2.5 and PM 10, are now suspected of increasing the risk of breast cancer for women. India, PM 2.5 and breast cancer toxic air now suspected to increase breast cancer risk. The Times of India India News, air pollutants, specifically particulate matter PM 2.5 and PM 10, are now suspected of increasing the risk of breast cancer for women. India, Delhi, government should revise list of PM 2.5 hotspots. Time for government to revise list of Delhi pollution hotspots Hindustan Times Delhi's annual PM 2.5 data from its 40 ambient air quality monitoring stations showed Jahangarpuri was its most polluted location last year, recording India, Delhi, PM 2.5 heightened during festival season ahead. Delhi becomes world's most toxic city ahead of festivals, experts explain why Hindustan Times as per IQ air data, Delhi recorded particulate matter. PM 2.5, of 296 micrograms per cubic meter of air, which is almost 20 times the WHO's India, Delhi, PM 2.5 and thick smog. Thick smog blankets residents in India's capital, adjoining regions, TVP world particulate matter, PM 2.5, from their diameter of 2.5 micrometers or less. Residents complained of itchy eyes and difficulty breathing amid thick India, Mumbai. October 2023, PM, 2.5 fluctuations explained. Why air pollution in Delhi, Mumbai fluctuated so much, this October, India today, PM, 2.5 pollutants. In fact, on October 18, Delhi celebrated its cleanest air day of the month with a PM, 2.5 level of 49, while Mumbai recorded a India, Mumbai explainer, why Mumbai recorded air quality poorer than Delhi's. All you need to know Hindustan Times particles with a diameter of 2.5 microns or less are considered fine particulate matter, 
which is a portion of PM10. What are the causes of Mumbai's? India, Kedrival and Smog Tower Was it an apt decision of Kedrival government to install Smog Tower? DigiWorld.com PM 2.5 Concentration, now inactive. According to a guard stationed at the entrance, the tower has been non-functional for several months. What was India, PM 2.5 and breast cancer toxic air now suspected to increase breast cancer risk? Mumbai News, The Times of India Two recent international studies have shown a correlation between exposure to air pollutants, specifically particulate matter, PM 2.5 and PM 10. PM 2.5 and construction accidents evaluation of the effect of particulate matter on construction accidents using relative probability nature in addition, it is reported that the incidence of lung cancer increases by about 9%. When the concentration of particulate matter less than 2.5 microns PM 2.5 and postpartum depression air pollution exposure increases risk for postpartum depression health day particulate matter less than or equal to 10 micrometers, PM 10, hour, 1.02. 95% CI, 1.00 to 1.04, and PM less than or equal to 2.5 micrometers, PM 2.5. PM 2.5 and biomass protest around the world The world is mobilizing against big biomass this week, clean technica in the U.S., as in Canada, while burning wood pellets generate electricity is still a relatively small portion of the country's energy early air quality monitors receive independent certification azosensors.com azosensors.com PM plus gas systems. This means that the early particulate matter, PM 2.5 and PM 10, sensors have been independently verified for qualitative and PM 2.5 and postpartum depression air pollution tied to postpartum depression Medscape ambient air pollution exposures were assessed based on maternal residential addresses using monthly averages of particulate matter less than or equal to 2.5 micrometers, PM 2.5, PM 2.5 and technology, smart, non-wood burning, fireplaces. Smart fireplaces, to give you the high-tech heat you need this winter, Mansion Global you can set flames, to mimic a traditional wood-burning fireplace, or choose more dynamic patterns. Smoke acrylic crystals, and clear acrylic stones. More than 60 color combinations let you.